Hi, my name's Colin and I drive the Renault 5 GT Turbo. This is the Phase 2 Renault 5 GT Turbo 1990. So the car is a Japan car, so it's fully Japan spec um, and it came from Japan, went straight from an auction straight into the UK um, and the dealers in the UK then contacted me and said, look, we've got your car. Okay, so <laughs> here comes the truth. So I got a bit impatient and my wife treated me. She said, how long is it going to take for the car to be shipped over? She said, well, it's going to be, you know, 30 days, 45 days. And at which point she said, we can't wait that long, we're going to fly over. Probably the only Renault 5 that's gone up 30,000 feet and it took three days. It's, it is a childhood dream, it's a childhood, you know, um, it's, it's a nostalgic throwback for me. Um, and it's such a head turner. It's fast and furious here. And my childhood was grown up looking at these cars I owned one back when I was about 22 um, and didn't really fully appreciate the, the full extent of what it was to have it in white to have that moment of opening the bonnet and seeing you know some chromed pipes some, a nice rocker cover and just having some nice red piping the, the childhood dream come true to be able to have one back in a collection when you suddenly put it like that, the car is 30 years old. So really, it was that I wanted to have a mint example of a Renault 5. For me now, you know, the journey started nearly a year and a half ago and now finally to have it here in Dubai, you know, we're here sat in front of the Burj Khalifa. It's, it's a dream come true that I've made my, my car, my, my baby, you know, come alive and now this is, you know, it's not the end of the road for it, it's really the start, you know, it started way back in, the, in Japan then went into London and now it's here in Dubai and now this is its home and it's just really has that come that full circle and I'm just so pleased that it's really come where it's, it's gone down this uh, down this path, and I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to sell it. I don't want to sell it. Um, it. It's iconic to me. It means so much to me, and I'm just super super happy. It's just a mega piece of car history. So, so Colin, every time I see you, man, you've got a different cleaning rag. What is that all about? Well, no. Well, what I like to do is I like to actually keep all the rags and the cleaning products in my car with me. So when I'm like out, you know, if there's any problems or anything, well, when I say problems, it's not really like problems. It's just a bit of dirt and what things like that. But what I like to do is, do you know what I mean? Have it all nicely laid out. What's he got in his glove box here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what have you found? What have you found? <laughs> <laughs> East side is the best side.